The Rotary Murray Darling Freshwater Research School is about giving secondary school students an opportunity to get a glimpse into the life of a practicing scientist and also to meet some people who've chosen science as a career to give them a greater insight into what it's actually like to be a scientist. Not all the facts but the actual process of doing science, of understanding how the environment functions um, as part of helping them make an informed decision about their career. It's a six day program which was established in 1995 and usually runs around April, around Easter time. I still feel so happy about the opportunity that these high flying students are being given to better understand ecosystems, in particular the aquatic ecosystem. There was nothing for secondary school who are the students who are about to make their decisions what their future is to be. What they will do, whether they will be professionals or scientists, and those were the people we felt were the ones that we could, if we could influence them at the right time of their life or give them an insight into what that profession would be, this could well lead to people taking on environmental science as their professional life. It's a program designed to give uh, secondary students an insight into freshwater ecology and research and what it entails, and how we use research to answer questions about the world around us. These freshwater mussels? They go through the whole process that a scientist goes through of observing patterns, coming up with some questions about what's making particular elements of the environment respond or grow or, or occur where they do, and then testing those hypotheses and then analysing the results and then giving a, um, a presentation to an audience so that they go through that whole process of um, here's the question, here's the, the measurements that we took and here's what we found and this is what it means and then communicating that to someone which is really what a scientist does on an everyday basis. Well we've been outside most of the time, we've um, been out on the field between two different environments and comparing them and um, performing the parameters and um, really being out there with our group and being very hands on. We have been uh, like taking samples from uh, uh, for example like fish, like identifying what species and checking out like the goodness of the biodiversity if on the river or in, the, in Wonga wetlands. It's, it's something that they don't really get to do often is actually get into the water and look up close at the things um, that are in the water. Like quite often you'll see um, students looking into water and not being able to see anything until you start pointing things out and then all of a sudden this whole world uh, you know opens up to them and um, and I think that's probably the exciting thing about these, you know, watching these students learn is seeing them realise there's so much more to the world than what first meets the eye. I have seen passion in students already and um, it's, it's great to see people really get into it like I was when I first started to learn science. So. At the end of the six day program it's absolutely unbelievable. The presentations that they present to all the Rotarians and to the staff and to all the guest speakers are just amazing. They're entertaining but you can actually see the results of everything that they've learned throughout the six day program. That makes you feel good that they've at least understood what they were doing and have converted it into their language. There's tiny pods in the during the 18 years that I've been involved in, every single year there is a variety of presentations. The creativity that comes out from them and the dynamics from all the different students is just unbelievable. It is like our higher degree students, our PhD students are working and some of the... We've had some notable students that have gone through uh, and our very first school, Jonathan and Lanaus, who is now one of the head honchos in the Australian Conservation Foundation, um, Margaret, who now works in uh, Antarctica and Tasmania. It's been a really interesting ride for a lot of the students. Some of them have found out it hasn't worked for them at all, but the majority are really still interested in science. It's really great to sort of hear these little stories come back about what they've done with their career and, and that maybe we had a part in sort of shaping their, their future. So when you look at what's happened from it, I'm just very pleased with it. Very happy. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for these students to actually 
you know, go out and, and see what we can do in the wetlands and see what we've actually done with studies and it's just, it's a fantastic experience. It's been awesome and I've met so many new people and so many awesome scientists and um, had a really fun time. I would definitely recommend this program to other students. It's just such a fantastic opportunity for them and, I'm, and literally it's just the best way to get into science and just know what freshwater ecologists do. And, Every year we sort of look at how difficult it is to pull this camp together because um, you know it's a collaboration and there's lots of people involved and all the coordination and stuff and we sort of think well you know why do we do this year after year and then the students walk through the door and you're just like that's why we do this they're just so enthusiastic they're so passionate about what they're doing and they get so excited about it you're like of course this is why we do this is because it makes a difference to young people's lives.